While looting and rioting may seem like nameless and faceless crimes, these days cameras capture, capture much of it. Kettle Land Investigates has obtained this surveillance video from just after 11 o'clock last night that shows a group of masked young people breaking into the Wireless World Verizon store at 41st and Kiwanis Avenue. Police think that this group of young people is behind several of last night's break-ins. Kettle Land's Angela Kennecke starts our team coverage tonight as she shows us the extent of the damage. The vandalism and looting were widespread from a pawn shop at West 10th and Kiwanis to Fleet Farm on the north side of town. Near the Empire Mall, police crime scene investigators were gathering evidence in the TJ Maxx parking lot. 17 windows in all at the TJ Maxx store were blown out and there was some looting inside the store. While our cameras weren't allowed inside, I did take a look around and there didn't appear to be extensive damage inside the store. However, the store remains closed for now. Rudolph's Schumart's manager next door watched as the crowd turned ugly. And all of a sudden, the mood kind of changed, and they're like, let's get the mall, and started bolting just across the parking lot straight to the mall. Were you standing right here? We're standing right, right where we are, actually. <laughs> just after 11 p.m., security cameras at the Wireless World Verizon store at 41st and Kiwanis captured a group of young people throwing rocks at the windows. When the windows didn't break... Now you see a gunshot. Boom. <laughs> And right next to his friend, almost shot his friend uh, just a few feet away. They appear to leave at first, and another person entered through the broken glass from the other direction. What's funny about that one is it's a dummy phone. So if he got it, it wouldn't have done him any good anyway. A few minutes later, the first group comes back and begins ransacking the store. This guy said, oh, I should get some Bluetooth headsets. And he leaves, he goes out the door. While they were all wearing masks, the looters were not wearing gloves and they left behind other evidence. They were grabbing here and you can barely see it now, but there's some blood stains because uh, the private investigators have already been here to take their swab uh, from the blood. And I'm sure these kids are also cut up on their legs. They're crawling in and out of here. Police told Lubin they believe the same group is behind several break-ins in the area. The, the odds are high that they will be uh, caught. The businesses say it's not just items that were stolen, they've also been robbed of their peace of mind. It's emotional, you know, it's because it's hard, you know, for small businesses around to make it anymore and for this to happen and for our business to, you know, suffer because of it, it's, it's, it's devastating. In Sioux Falls, Angela Kennecke, Kettleband News. If you have any information about the people in the wireless world, Verizon surveillance video, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers.